everyone freaking out about Treasury yields today, solid, consistent earnings will matter sometime, or at least they'll matter once everything calms down and the smoke clears. Uh, when that happens, I don't want these reports to get lost in the shuffle. For example, Six Flags, the largest operator of regional theme parks on Earth, just delivered a strong quarter after the close today. Okay, maybe it doesn't look like it, but bear with me. The company lost 74 cents a share. Winter is the worst time of the year, but that's smaller than the 79 cent loss Wall Street was anticipating, and you know, that's what matters. Meanwhile, revenue came in higher than expected, up 30% year over year. Six Flags saw a 27% increase in the number of guests visiting its parks. Each of those guests spent an average of 4% more than they did last year. It's kind of a same store figure. Oh, and this mostly domestic company is expanding overseas. Earlier this month, they announced a plan to build a park in Riyadh, the capital of Saudi Arabia. Today, they announced three planned theme parks in China, although I imagine that that may depend on how our trade dispute with the Chinese plays out we'll more in a second. Now, this stock has been a good long-term performer, but it's getting hammered in recent months. Can things turn around with these numbers? Let's take a closer look with Jim Reed Anderson, the chairman and returning CEO of Six Flags Entertainment, and learn more about the quarter and its company's prospects. Mr. Reed Anderson, welcome back to Mid Bunny. Good to see you, sir. Have a Great seat. to be here, Jim. All right, Jim. This is a period that tries uh, men's soul, so to speak. And yeah. I've been looking for this quarter to be as good as this, hoping, fingers crossed, thinking that what would happen is perhaps the stock was going down for the wrong reasons. Please help me here. This was a terrific quarter, better than expected. But in anticipation, I guess, of this, the 10-year Treasury going past 3%, you're caught up in this vortex. We are, but... I always believe that you need to focus on performance. And since I last saw you, Jim, we had our greatest fourth quarter of all time, eighth record year in a row. And then this quarter is our best first quarter in the company's history. And as you know, I, I look on us as the ultimate growth and yield right. stock, and we're right. delivering over 5% in terms of dividend yield. So, you know, performance, just operating, getting the results as we're doing, I think the share price will re react to that. When you own a treasury, they don't raise the coupon. You don't get more and more interest as it goes along. How about your a record of dividend increases so we can compare that to owning a treasury? Absolutely. And it's eight years of dividend increases. And again, since I last saw you six months ago, we've raised the dividend by 22 percent. And our goal is to continue to increase the dividend. Uh, as you know, Jim, every single dollar that's access to what we need to invest in the company, in the parks, we give back to shareholders in the form of either dividends or stock buybacks. And right, we've no, been consistently doing that. No, the whole time. Now, let's understand that it's not just about theme park revenue on that given right. day. You've got an active pass base that, to me, represents a, an earnings stream that, typically, that you did not have when we first met. Absolutely. We've transformed the business. And really, uh, we've been focusing in on recurring revenue and how we create a recurring revenue model. And the best way to do that is to focus on the active base and keep people with us long term. So when I first met you, we talked about single day pass right. uh, visitors. We then moved to season pass. And now we've launched this incredible membership program that really builds on that active base. And it's at an all time high up 10 percent, literally 10 percent on last year. All right. Now, how do we uh, account for the international expansion? How does that work in terms of revenues to you? So first and foremost, we have five major imperatives that are ongoing, of which international is one. Mm -hmm. But just this quarter, we've added four new parks, three in China, as you said, and one in Saudi Arabia. So that takes us in total to 12. And those parks are adding nicely to future revenue, but they're one piece of a puzzle, which we have very strong growth in every single one of those five imperatives. I always tell people that one of the reasons why I like your stock so much is that I can't just go out with a bunch of guys and build theme parks all over the country. There are real right. gating factors, There right? are. So there are, first of all, it's a great industry, right. but it's a great industry if you're in it already. Right. And we have that position. As you said, we're the leading regional theme park company in the world. Very high barriers to entry. It's in the region of half a billion dollars to build a theme park. But once you're in, you have this recurring revenue. You have a great industry. Strong, as you've seen, our per caps in the quarter. No. Very strong growth. So pricing is happening. We've got an active base that's increasing. We've got an in food, in park dining program that is so popular with guests, they see it as a huge value. That's increasing. And then I, I, you haven't mentioned it, Jim, but we're adding water parks right. as we go that are very close to our existing theme parks. And that's also having a great effect. Well, look, I just I'm so glad you're here because I wanted someone sane, OK, in an insane day yeah. to explain how you basically get a bond with upside. 
And that's how I regard your company. And I think you think of it the right way. And right. as I've said to you all along, and you have been saying the same thing, growth plus yield, very difficult to achieve. We do it and we'll continue to do it. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, there's Jim Reed Anderson. Uh, he's chairman, president, and CEO of Six Flags, and he's sane on an insane day. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.